interesting trading day with a sell-off based on Russia-Ukraine news. Also, a potential rate hike that's higher than expected with inflation yesterday. Fed speak, lots of news. I'm sure you're aware of those, so I won't go over all the news uh, in this video. Go over the trading system results. Nice shorts today. Futures provide a good vehicle to short the market when it sells off to hedge. Provide a diverse investment from traditional long-only equity portfolios. And we are trading the 50K and 200K micros. Plus, oh, one open position left on the day, one short left. So right now, plus 13.50 on the one micro stock index 40, uh, plus 2,700 on the 200K, two micro stock index 40. And the 50K portfolio that we were trading are, and are tracking now but not trading is plus 1,435. 200K had a huge day. A lot of that was in crude oil. One big trade in NASDAQ, gap continuation 2019. I considered taking that gap continuation trade on a regular E-mini on the 200K and potentially the 50K, but passed. Um, and we still we still had a good day, but um, that was a huge trade. Uh, here are the 200K trades. You see 65.80 on gap continuation and then some big crude trades. That was the main difference. Um, copper was up a little bit. Gold down. Uh, stock uh, E-mini S&P down, NASDAQ up, NASDAQ continues to be the strength. Let's look at the CVIX indicator up above one. Um, potential Russia-Ukraine war, I guess. Uh, the market is still fairly strong. Um, it hasn't. It's above the January 24th lows. There were 32 zigzags today, um, based on a one third of a one percent move. And if you divide that by VIX, it gives you 1.16. VIX went as high as 30. So still a very, um, not a very strong sell-off in my opinion. I know TradeStation raised margins and the, and the market is down 3%. But considering all the events, uh, down 3% isn't that much. Considering you would think it would be down uh, a little more, a little bit more panic selling. Uh, in previous market history, um, Typically a little bit more selling, a little bit more panic selling than that, but kind of a, just a choppy downtrend. So we were able to take advantage of that downtrend, and I'm going to show you the trades that we uh, that we had on the day. So here are the micro E-mini S&P trades. Gapfill Master took a short trade here right at the open. And adaptive moving average took a short trade, long trade, short trade, long trade, short trade, up a little on the day. It captured this main downtrend. Very active strategy, kind of like our VSD. Our VSD and adaptive are really active strategies. Cover three, needed a little bit bigger stop loss on that. Just got in at the wrong time. After hours down, this strategy is really struggling right now. Um, we're on our fourth winning day in a row overall in this portfolio. Uh, VIX OC down. Night Trader up though, um, capturing that move has an uncanny ability to capture those long moves at night. Tick Fader. Uh, in reality, we missed this because our limit order wasn't filled, so working on limit orders, so we missed that trade. Um, Micro NASDAQ, VSD, our aggressive long short, caught that short trade yesterday, got long, got short, reversed along, it did the same thing. Um, yesterday it was short. Reversed it all the way back up, got it long, and had to get short again today. Short mostly um, as the market sold off, then it reversed all the way to get long again, stopped out, got short, and so um, keep trying to they keep trying to pop it up. Still, you still see this down here where it's still being uh, popped up uh, and supported instead of just you know kind of slowly trending towards the lows at the close. There's lots of dip buying going on here, spikes. Spikes higher. AVP1 captured the short trade. At the end of the day, got a long trade. Stopped out short trade right there. Got out on a trailing stop loss. Uh, that's a $2,000 trailing stop loss. Or $200 per mini. $200 per micro, $2,000 per e-mini. So it retraced over $2,000 or 100 points. A little bit bigger trailing stop loss would have worked better. I keep having to expand this. This is the biggest winner on the day. This is one of our top strategies, gap continuation. Um, this is based on eight micros, so it captured about 6,500 on the E-mini. 
And we had a Cobra 2022, caught this little short trade right there, a uh, high percentage of winners. So those are the trades on the day in the micro stock index portfolio. For reference, I want to go over the 200K that we were trading. Gap fill master, same trade. 60-minute breakout, minus 275. Cobra 3, minus 625. Uh, the VIX OC in after hours. We um, There's a lot of tendencies in markets to go up overnight, and... These strategies attempt to catch that. We've noticed that during the Asian session, the markets have not have been unusually weak. Um, during the European session, Night Trader is more active, and so it's been uh, solid. But VIXOC and After Hours have gotten stopped out during the Asian session, so it's been a little more challenging. Uh, Nasdaq, you see the 6580 trade gap continuation 2019, really good trade. EBP one, um, duplicate trades to the micros. Cobra three. NASDAQ, we didn't trade that in the micros because we used a filter. So 16th, 16 trades in our, to our losing streak. We did have one winner out of in the last 16 trades. So um, it's just attacking our shorts. You know, you could have, this would have done well the last two days with a little bit bigger stop loss. Gold had this long trade. That profit target looked small. And the Russia UK, UK uh, news. Uh, made gold and crude oil spike up and stocks sell off. Um, there's silver. Copper um, just got into a trade. Um, it sold off during the um, this news. You see the spike in crude oil. Talk of $100 crude oil. I wouldn't be surprised to see $200 crude oil with inflation. Um, you know, inflation worries, interest rate worries, uh, Russia Ukraine worries, and uh, the stock market is, is held up pretty well, actually, um, considering crude, three nice nice trades in crude oil. You see 1865 on Cobra Crude Aggressive, 1585 uh, on Cobra Crude Conservative, Crude Swing, plus 1865. Natural gas, no trades. Soybeans, no trades. The 50K portfolio, Cobra Crude, Esther Counter Trend 3 Gold A, and Cobra 3 NASDAQ. Here is Cobra Crew 2022. Big trade on this, $4,000 on that trade. Open position, Cobra Crude and Cobra Bonds. Cobra, Cobra 2022 Bonds. Those are all the trades on the day. A lot, of, a lot of what we're tracking and considering for trading. And four winning days in a row in the Micro Stock Index 40. So good trading there. Up on the month for that. So, um... Have a good weekend. It is February the 11th, 2022. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks. We share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.